Hi, my name's Mike, and this is a story about me, about a simple guy who works at a shop. Oh, that there's my brother, is Dave. Oh. Oh, Dave. Bloody knockers. Yep, that's my typical brother Dave. I owe him a lot. Before he came back into my life, it was just dull and miserable. This is the story how it all begun. Do you see the problem here? Um, is it that the baked beans are stacked as a pyramid rather than a square promotional stand? No. Right, so I was um, with my friend um, Tony, and um, before even uh, I met any of the cast or crew, we came, we kind of sort of um, wrote these ideas down of what we're going to do, and we called um, a Mike, a Dave, and an Ariel, and these are three characters which we were just going to create our random thin air. We were drinking at the time and playing Pokemon, so we were completely buzzing over it. And um, yeah, and then all of a sudden we got this idea of um, pitching it to other people and then seeing what happened. And then I was like, okay, I'll create it. I'll just create it. And then I thought, why not call it Draw on a Line? I have no idea why I called it Draw on a Line, but it works. So I'm not going to lie about that. But the interesting thing is, now that it's all sort of wrapped up and finished, I spoke to him last week, I think it was. And I said, how did we come up with this kind of idea? And he sort of went, well, you know, we're, you, me, and your missus are going to live together. I went, oh, no. And he sort of went, yeah. He went, yeah, I kind of pretty much based it on us. And I just sort of went, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay. How am I? And he was like, how did you not know? I was like, I was just oblivious to it. I wasn't expecting it to be about me. Shop semiotics is a complicated subject. We have to have the baked beans here so that customers can embrace the other items from the front of the shop that complement the baked beans. Oh yeah, sure, because chocolate, that complements the baked beans. I mean, the bog roll, that complements the baked beans. The page free girl complements the baked beans. Now you're getting it. Look, this is going to sound stupid. But then don't say it. No, what I mean is, I want to put my name forward for the promotion. You? Mike, you're brilliant, but being supervisor, well... That's a really big responsibility. It's no different from what I do at the moment. All it involves is locking up and doing the cashing up, and I practically do that anyway. Oh no, it's much more than that, Mike. It's about proud tradition in our shop hierarchy. People will look to you for inspiration. People will ask the supervisor to give them loose change, to go to the toilet, etc, etc. To, to stand on top of, on top of Mike and, uh, like, basically... Basically, bully him into into dealing what uh, he doesn't know. No, and uh, the man, the manager is constantly trying to to uh, get him to understand. And uh, but obviously, that's uh, one of Mike's problems. And and the manager is just gets sick and tired, and uh, and uh, he gets more and more angry. Don't say anything. Don't say a word. Look, I just love you. I just want to hold you. I just want to be with you. I just want to make you feel whole. I just want to make love to you. I just want to make you feel special. Now I know this may come as a shock to you, but I am not really interested, Mike. I am flattered, however, that we dedicated our lives to this brotherhood of shop life. Now we can't start having sexual encounters even if I was attracted to you. As manager and assistant manager, we have a duty to set an example. Ross, man, oh man, I love my Ross. He's amazing to work I with. Stuff like that. I mean, with all, of, I mean, how do I begin with him? Sue, it's fantastic to work with. I mean, <laughs> well, put it when I gave her the script. Now, and I asked her what 
I didn't even really give her a read for her. I just gave her the part because I knew she could do well because I've acted alongside her. And um, when she came to the set, we came with set up and everything like that, ready to go, I gave her her electric scooter. And she just did this on cue performance. She was spitting out the side going, oh, about my sex life and all that. And I just sort of went, that's pitch perfect. Morning, Mrs. Barnaby. Clean up this mess and the promotion is yours. So that's what I wanted, that's brilliant. I mean, it's like with Connor as well, he was helping behind the scenes before he even came in front of the camera. It's ridiculous. He just came out and he was, being, he was doing comedy right in front of us and I just thought, I couldn't have never picked a better day for that. Okay, I don't have a good reason for this Jehovah Witness I gave because I'm mad. Oh my god, Dave! Oh. oh my god, I've seen you in ages, man. Oh no, he's my little brother, isn't I? Oh man. Oh mate, oh. come on through, man. Yeah. I didn't know you were coming. Oh yeah. Oh. Silly Billy. Literally. He is a um, complete and utter idiot who sneezes on chicken nuggets. I mean, come on, no one likes that, will her. But he's. To be honest, I think. The, way, the reason Jordan asked me to be Dave was mostly because I am Dave in reality, like my behaviour and attitude about life, and I think that's what made Dave so successful in drawing the line, because Jordan knew what I was like, so I guess that's why he asked me. Oh no. Right, I'm going. So soon. I have to see to my cat. Wait, you have a cat? I was trying to tell you about my cat, but you wanted to talk about my bloody tattoo! How is Bob the Builder? Erin? <laughs> it's nose. Mate, I, I just bled out. Um, sorry. That tattoo is a sacred part of my life. You think it's funny, huh? How's your disappointing <laughs> sex life? Uh, 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 I can explain. <laughs> Dude, you're on top of me, and you're naked. Oh. Don't tell anyone about this. Agreed. Seriously, he oh. only just got here, and look at all the trouble he's caused. If you don't do it, I will. Do what? You've got to draw the line somewhere. But um, all the characters that um, I've worked with, including um, Katie and Kazaya as well, for um, Erin and the extras, they were hilarious. Especially um, Sean and Hannah when they did their little um, Rizza scene. Uh, I bet I, that was a story um, I sort of experienced myself, and I wanted to get that across. Them two did a flaming good job at that, and um, yeah, it was hilarious to watch it being filmed. Never mind watching it play back. Get me a Riddler. Sorry, what was that? Get me a Riddler. Well, um, a Rizzler. A Riddler. Well, we have many Rizzler. I mean, we have Red Rizzler, Blue Rizzler, Silver Rizzler. I Rizzler. don't know a Riddler. Okay, I'll get you a Red Rizzler. No, no, no. I want a Silver Rizzler, not a Red one. a Silver Rizzler, not a Red one. That's 59 pence. Um, actually, um, can I get a 50 pound pop on the orange and the Silver Rizzler? Okay, that's fifty pounds fifty nine pence. Thank you very much. There we go. There we go. There, it's a little bit torn with the surge, but it's still there. Actually, you wait right here. I'm gonna take on my missus, okay? Okay. Okay. Where am I gonna go? Loving the intellectual conversation. What well on, Mike? The first rule about being supervisor is to believe in what's right and defend your honour. I just remembered the riddle for me. Ha! <laughs> You're a bright one, aren't you? And I want a silver riddle, not a red one. Oh, there you go, there's your silver riddle, mate. What's taking you so long? I sent you in here for bread. Getting your riddle. 
Well, what are you getting me a Rizzler for? I don't even smoke, you do. I know, I just remembered. So what's taking you so long? I got you a £50 pop-up on Orange. You got me another top-up? Mm-hmm. I've got enough credit. I don't even use the bloody phone. I'm sorry, I was only thinking of you. I don't even go with Orange, I go with Vodafone. Sorry, love, for, um, top-ups refund. Um, I'm afraid not, madam. Sorry. Um, you can't return. You bloody idiot! I can't rely on you for anything, can I? Oh, You're absolutely useless! I'm, I'm sorry! I asked you to do I was only thing. thinking of you. Bread. Seriously. Bread. I just want to get a Riddler and a pop-up for your phone. Because you use your phone. Bread. I'll tell you what, no. Bread. Speak to the Bread. hand! Seriously. Um, I think it's got to be where he introduces Dave. Dave to Micah. Although, uh, they, although his other the parts were, were okay. Mike, take a seat. Oh, right. Okay. Listen, I have a very important meeting I must attend. I won't be around for a couple of days. Oh, oh well, who'll be in charge of the shop then? My brother. It's time you face the truth outside these walls. When I employed my staff, I was always on the lookout for a, for a successor to take over the shop whenever I left. The time for you has come to realise the truth. Does that mean you're leaving me in charge of the shop? Oh, bless you, Mike. One day, but not today, I am employing someone else to come and stand in for a few hours in my place. What? Whoa. But I'm the supervisor though. Yes, that is true, but remember, but to make sure that our code of conduct is followed, I am employing a new supervisor. Hang on, I'm the supervisor and it took me three years to get to the decision. Ma Who Mike, remember your code of conduct? Your time will come Who soon. Who the hell have you hired? This is some sort of joke, isn't it? Allow me to introduce you to our family. Our new member, Dave. Hello, mate. You must be Mike. I'm Dave! No. Yeah! This is some sort of sick joke. This, this is really... I took... It took me three years to earn this job and you're just literally giving it to someone... You're giving it to... My brother. That's a lot of words. <laughs> as soon as I looked at the script, I said to Jordan, Dude, that's a lot of words. I can't do that. I'm not an actor. He's like, that's why we're improvised. I was like... Improvise, I'm not good with improvising, I'm Dave. <laughs> but we got there in the end and it was fun. I, I felt the script was pretty funny, especially apart from getting thrown out of the door, that was pretty painful. Um, well, it wasn't planned. <laughs> um, it was quite interesting because I've obviously I've acted quite a lot before in my experiences, but I've never really directed, so it was it was different and um, I think it was having a beautiful cast and crew kind of made it a lot easier for me so I'm not gonna elaborate <laughs> I'm not gonna elaborate too much about that it was really nice actually having a supportive um, crew with me because before taking on the role of Mike directing was quite a challenge in itself then when um, Luke had to drop out for um, understandable reasons it was um, difficult to direct and act and trying to gain the same character across so I was um, quite glad about that the same I, I suppose with Ross as well I mean he had to take on the role of the manager which in itself being project manager of the um, drawing line itself is um, not a difficult task I mean I didn't want to say goodbye to either Luke or Graham but for our reasons they they had to leave but um, yeah I think we did really well pulling back from that definitely right Ross position Ready? Wait. Camera rolling. Um, I'll take a TV. Sound rolling. Speed. Market. Drawing a line. Scene two. Shot four. Take three. Production by Hitler's son. <laughs> 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 Cut! Was that the Oh yeah, if, if I had to work with Jordan for the rest of my life, I would say yeah, seriously, if there was just a show with me and him, and we had like interviews to them, I, I, I think it would be brilliant, seriously, better than Park, Parkinson, what? yeah, <laughs> better, <laughs> better, better than Jonathan Ross, <laughs> oh definitely, 100%.
Zoll? Do you remember when? Do you remember when you used to go fishing? Fishing? fishing. Yeah, mate. As high as a kite. Still remembered it. Dad, he was so happy back then. Yeah, he was. But he never caught anything. No. You know, it took us two years to realise there was never any fish in that river. Still, it didn't matter, did it? Wasn't the point. Catching on fish, worry about life or anything like that. Is that what this is about? Life? No. Being no. dumb and boring? No. What's your life? Or was it your sex life? Back Being off. dumb and boring. Back off that sex life. You know, I've never known anyone to talk to their boss and say, I want to touch you and make you feel special. Oh, God. I've seen your boss and they're quite the catch. <laughs> Stay with us. What? Stay with me and Aaron for a while. What makes you think I want a place to stay? You come over to the house, start looking around, snooping and that, and you come get sympathy from me for breaking up your girlfriend, and it kind of makes me think that you need a place to stay. And anyways, my brother and I, why don't you stay? Erin hates me. She doesn't own the house though, does she? She won't let it happen. What have I said to her? Dave's moving in. Put my foot down and say, that's it. And I'll say, great, but you won't. You'll beg and eventually she'll say no. I'm not that whipped. Phone sex incident. Is that a yes then? Yeah, sure. She hates cats though. Oh.